What did you do last before the 2020 lockdown? Working from home my employer. The national electricity grid operator decided two weeks before lockdown that the only way to keep 30 operators sage was to kick the CEO and 500 stuff out. So the operators had the building to themselves and there wasn't COVID in the air conditioning or similar. Impton's so during the 440 days of no community transmission and sports games, concerts, etc. in 2020. Early 2021 I had six ambulance callouts, and apart from does, or hospital visits basically didn't go out. I went to see Frozen the musical with my sister. We talked the whole drive there about not going, because our COVID numbers in Seattle were getting high. When we got inside to see the musical the place was less than half full. I knew from ordering tickets that it was sold out. My husband and I were supposed to go see a Studio Ghibli movie the next weekend. But we both had close exposures and so we skipped out. The very last thing I did before lockdown was host cardboard arcade for my students. Parent were not able to attend but the students were still able to play each other's games. Stout party with my best friend and his family. We all like high ABV stouts. So, we pick them up throughout the year and get together in the winter to drink through them for a day. In fall of 2019, I bought two bottles of Black Tuesday from the brewery and we opened one of them. It's a 19.5 ABV barrel aged imperial stout and it's fantastic. A couple weeks ago we finally got our schedules lined up to start the tradition back up. I still had the sister bottle to that one, so it was really great to get to open it with the same folks after it aged for four years. I left on a trip of about three weeks. At everything locked down for good in my area and when I arrive, life just became so bland and tough. I had to leave my old job behind, change my day to day, struggle financially due to job loss, etc. From the moment I landed back home it felt like a complete reset of my reality. I was so happy I wasn't required to do all those extra travel requirements on the plane back. I like to believe I was one of the last flights that didn't need it haha. The day before my husband's birthday, we all went out to dinner. After playing a round of disc golf at the local state park, the day of his birthday, it was suddenly like the apocalypse. We drove down what is generally a very busy, bustling main street for of restaurants and shops. Everyone gone college sent everyone home, and everyone else closed up shop. It was so weird how the night before we were all happy and laughing, eating dinner with family and friends. The next day, we had to drive to a bunch of places to even just find somewhere open for takeout. Broadly before lockdown, in 2019 I threw a big surprise 40th birthday party for my wife, with 70 guests from all over the country. I always think how that never could have happened if she were born just a few months later. It was quite expensive, and at the time I didn't really regret the cost. Looking back I definitely don't regret it. Immediately before lockdown I finally got a promotion that came with an office. Then we got sent home a month later and before our TO in mid-2021. I ended up losing the office through organisational changes. Took the act. The test was scheduled two days before nationwide lockdown started. Them to let me take it as it was second semester junior year and I asked what happens if this doesn't stop until I'm in college. What if I can't take it again? They called me dramatic, but I stood firm. Thank God I did because any time I tried to retake during the pandemic the testing schedule cancelled. Luckily my school was good enough to get me a decent scholarship. Broke up with my then fiancé because I found out he was cheating with transgender sex workers and addicted to watching transgender N to F with straight male porn. I couldn't imagine if I'd stayed and being in lockdown with him. Honestly, I probably would have offed him. As it was... About a week before lockdown, I moved out lock, stop, and barrel when he went to work one day. I'm praying that the STDs he has will kill him off one day. I don't believe in forgive and forget. He can burn in every religion's version of hell that exists. I was taking care of COVID patients. A lot. It was a transition time before we had a lot of them and many of my co-workers were needed a bit of time to come to grips with their fears so I volunteered. Not cause I'm terribly self-sacrificing. I'm just old and went through the 80s AIDS crisis so had some perspective. Also, at that time our facility was figuring out the situation and they were incredibly helpful with COVID patient load and support.
so the staffing was very good best I've ever had. I had the feeling something was going to go down. I went to grocery stores, locals and Costco and played prepper buying everything I thought we'd need. Canned goods, bag chips and staples. Cat food and paper goods were a biggie. My downfall was buying tons of hostess and little Debbie snacks in which I indulged in because of the uncertainty. It seemed to be sufficient until we were allowed to shop at the grocery stores at designated times. Those were strange times. Prior to the pandemic I was travelling like crazy for work, had it been cancelled due to weather, and the week of the shutdown I was scheduled to travel to a client and our CEO forbid the trip. Due to the increasing cases I work in the US for a non-US company. After the pandemic, my travel same company is about one-tenth of what it was before, and that is totally fine with me. More time at home and with my family. Right before lockdown I was sick. The sickest I'd been in a very long time. I spent my birthday at the end of Feber Urgent Care. The place was packed with tons of people coughing. Found out the flu I'd had that had turned into bronchitis. Now had turned into pneumonia. Good times. I was finally starting to feel a little bit better and planning on going back to church there. Weekend and the boom. The world shut down. I still wonder if that six-week sickness I had was COVID. On the 13th of March 2020 I, 1, had part 2 of an AEP Calculus BC exam, 2, drove to a print shop to get a quote for prints for an event my non-profit was planning, 3, got a text from my friend saying that he got accepted to the high school I was attending, 4, organised a lunch with my friends at our favourite burger place for the next day, because since that things were about to go to shit, that lunch we had on the 14th of March 2020, was the last normal restaurant gathering meal I ever had. I just returned home from a day of high school. I was petting my dog while talking to my mother who was ill at the time but she's better now. We got the call that school was cancelled the next two weeks. Some months later, my AHS diploma arrived in the mail. No prom. No senior week. No celebration dot dot. I'm about to graduate college and seeing how so much changed during my last senior year. I'm honestly terrified something else is gonna happen lol. Fingers crossed though. We went to a very nice play immediately before the lockdown started. There were reports coming out of China and no one in the States was taking seriously. That I told my wife this one felt different. We had a lovely dinner after the show. And I remember telling my wife I thought this would be the last time we could do this in a while. The next week, I told my job I'd be doing WFH for a bit. We had a bunch of flexibility. And the week after they announced a company-wide WFH. In August of 2019, I loaded a bunch of camping gear onto my bicycle, calm her bicycle touring SG to LXTU tin and set off with the goal of spending the next year or so riding all around the western US. In mid-March of 2020, I was in Arizona and planning to keep going for a few more months when the coronavirus really started to disrupt day-to-day -day life. It was a chaotic couple of days finding my way to an Amtrak station and getting on a train headed home. I was a junior in college, and it was our spring break. I was working 40 hours a week, participating in multiple clubs, and rebuilding my friend group after losing someone I considered a best friend. I took a much-needed nap and played video games with my one of my close friends. The first week of spring break our campus completely shut down, and I had to stay with a friend's family while I worked. An extended spring break turned into returning to campus in October. Lockdown started on St. Paddy's Day. I live above an Irish bar where it's a huge night. They make like 35 of the money they make all year in one night and obviously bought a fuckton of deer, whiskey, and food for the big night. I sat in the bar with just the owner and his wife drinking and failing to make him feel confident. He wasn't going to lose his business. We got shitfaced and sang all the Irish songs together. He sold the bar about a year and a half later. March 13, 2020, I went to school, and around 10 we started hearing rumours that the virus that I had only heard about about a week prior had given us a two-week holiday. Everyone was celebrating when they made an announcement on the loudspeaker. Damn I regret that now don't I. It was also two days after the closing show for the school musical, I was the lead. Some of my friends at another school had their show stopped in the middle of the show, 
and shut down. About a month before lockdown I was in Japan. I had brought masks with me that I bought on a visit to Japan the previous year. Used them on my visit. Couldn't find more masks anywhere until the last day I was there. Then they were restricting purchase to one package per person. That made it clear shit was getting real. When I got home, I made a supply run to the grocery store and did a major stock up. I think I still have some cans of beans from then. My wife and I were at a Mexican restaurant when I got a notification on my phone that all bars and restaurants would be shut down. Moments later all the servers gathered in a corner for an emergency meeting with the manager to salt my food, then said I never really thought about this until now. That salt shakers on restaurant tables suddenly seem really gross and I got up and washed my hands before eating anything else. Slightly different, but that time helped me see that society needs each other. It's not all about making as much as you can. It's about the people that are important to you that matter. Plus, I woke up from the working class trance that I lived in believing our bosses' companies really cared about us and push comes to shove. Liberating. Now I see that it's a deal we make with the companies to do them something for a price. Made me lose that guilt nonsense. Worked in the office, I was the last holdout. Still went in by myself for a week and a half before everything completely locked down and I was forced to work from home. Packed my car up with my computer, monitors and desk chair and took everything home. Did not go back. End of 2020 the lease for the office was up anyway. Company realised we could all do our jobs from home and they saved money on paying for a lease. So I've been home ever since.